Welcome to our latest video in our GCSE exam practice series. This video is on the topic of the Harbour process. By the end of this video lesson, you should have an improved understanding how ammonia is made in the Harbour process by the reversible reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen. And you should also be able to describe and explain the reaction conditions and be able to write a word and balance the chemical equation for the reaction taking place. Now just as in other videos in the series, we're going to revise this topic with a series of practice questions. So here's the first practice question we'd like to have a go at. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. Now in this first practice question, we have a diagram which summarizes the harbour process, the production of ammonia. And the first part of this question asks you to give the name of gas A. Now gas A is formed from natural gas, which is one of the raw materials. So gas A is hydrogen. So one mark if you said hydrogen. And then part B is asking you to name catalyst B and state why it is used. Well, the catalyst in this process is iron. One mark if you said this. And a catalyst is used to speed up the reaction. So if you said speed up the reaction, you get the second mark. Now as an alternative answer to say and speed up the reaction, you could say increases the reaction rate. So if you said speeds up the reaction or increases the reaction rate, you get the second mark. Now in part C, it says that the yield of ammonia is only 28% and therefore 72% of the gases remain unreacted. And the question asks you to describe what happens to these unreacted gases and to state why this is important. So you get one mark here for the idea that the unreacted gases are recycled, or in other words, put back into the reactor. So that gets you one mark. And the second mark here is to explain why this is important. So if you said that this helps to reduce costs, that would get you the second mark. Now an alternative answer to this would be if you said that returning the gases to the reactor or recycling the gases would help you to have less waste in terms of raw materials that would get you the second mark also so you can see that to get the two marks here you have to mention the idea of recycling or returning the unreacted gases to the reactor and for the second mark you have to explain that this would reduce costs or it would reduce the amount of waste of raw materials so now have a go at the next part of this question. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. Now in the next part of this question, we're shown a graph which shows the effect of temperature and pressure on the yield of ammonia during the harbour process. And the question is asking you to describe how the yield of ammonia varies with temperature and pressure. Well, in terms of temperature, if you increase the temperature, this leads to a decrease in the yield of ammonia. So if you said that increases in temperature cause a decrease in the yield of ammonia, that gets you one mark. Now, the second part of this question is asking you to describe how the yield of ammonia varies with pressure. So if you increase the pressure in this reaction, it causes an increase in the percentage yield of ammonia. So there's one mark here for recognizing that increases in pressure lead to increases in the percentage yield of ammonia produced in the harbor process. So here's the final part of this question. So once again, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answer. So the last part of this question is asking to write a balanced symbol equation for the production of ammonia. Now ammonia has the formula NH3. So you get one mark for having the correct formula here for ammonia. Now ammonia is made from reacting nitrogen and hydrogen together. So the chemical formula for nitrogen is N2. The chemical formula for hydrogen is H2. So if you have those both correct, you get the second mark. And the final mark here is for balancing the equation. 
Now for balancing, I need the same number of atoms of each element on either side of the equation. So because I've got two nitrogens on the left, I need to put a two in front of the NH3. And if I put a two in front of the NH3, I'll have six hydrogens on the right. So I have to put a three in front of the H2 to have six hydrogens on the left. So that gets me the final mark. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should have an improved understanding of how ammonia is made in the harbour process by the reversible reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen. And you should also be able to describe and explain the reaction conditions and be able to write a word and balance chemical equation for the reaction taking place. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching. This and other GCSE, AS and A-level chemistry videos can be found on our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry.